Hello, my name is Robert Walker, and I want to dispel the lies and show the truth about what's going on in Flint, Michigan with the water crisis. There's been a lot of lies and disinformation and uh, charges of racism and what have you. Yes, I'm white, but do I hate blacks or yellow people or red people or purple people? No. Or blacks? No. I don't hate anybody for their skin color. Let me let you in a little secret. When my mother had a car accident and she was dying, not breathing, a black cop came and uh, kept her alive until the paramedics got there, gave her mouth to mouth. So, do I hate black cops? No, absolutely not. When I was in the Army, we had a black sergeant. He was a, I think he was a, for those of you that are in the military, he was like an E7 or an E8. Uh, I think he was an E7, first sergeant. And now, think about this. Our colonel that was on charge of the base, he was also black, but most of the officers were white, most of them, in the, in my, on my base. I was in Germany. But this black sergeant, he was a nice guy. I really liked him. He would stick up for his people under him, the enlisted men. If, if he thought you were right, he'd stand up to the officers, and they didn't like that. Well, guess what? He gave me a promotion. You know, uh, it was an automatic promotion. He just had to turn in a piece of paper, and I got a raise. You know, he talked to me for about five or ten minutes and said, oh, yeah, you know, I like you, and, you know, you seem like a nice guy, whatever. And next thing you know, next paycheck, I get a, I get a raise. I thought, wow, that's nice. And then I found out it was him that did it, you know. And then... Uh, when I had an auto accident, there was a, a, a black gal, a nurse. She uh, blocked traffic. It was on the interstate. Blocked traffic with her car um, to uh, keep me from getting hit, her, hit and hurt worse. So do I hate people because they're black? No, absolutely not. You know, what can I tell you? But um, I took a class from the University of Florida water treatment okay I have over 12 years of experience in municipal water treatment the exact same thing that was going on in Flint okay uh, University of Florida it's one of the I think it's in the top 25 engineering schools in the nation it's one of the three best colleges in Florida Depending upon who you talk to, it's the best, okay? But I took 144 hours of water treatment training, okay? Now, I also went and took some classes from the Environmental Protection Agency and the University of California, Sacramento. Water treatment and distribution. I have well over 500 hours of water treatment and what they call distribution. That's the pipes. That is where the lead is coming from. They use lead solder to connect the pipes in Michigan. And they get... Water is very corrosive. It will corrode... Well, take a look at iron. You stick iron in water, and guess what? It rusts. Well, it does the same things to the pipes. Basically, what you have to do is add a stabilizer to the water. It would have been an easy, easy fix. It would have cost almost nothing. I heard uh, between $100 to $200 a day. That's less, far less than a penny a person. But guess what? They didn't do that. So, you know, just so you know, I have all kinds of water training. So let's take a look at who was responsible. 
Now, this guy, his name is Howard Croft. He is the ex-utility director of Flint Utilities, as in water utilities, which means he was the water boss. He made all the decisions. Do you notice he's black? Okay, I mean, does that make any difference? No, except for the fact that you've got the news media blaming the white governor. Did the white governor, Schneider, did he hire this guy? Uh, no, he didn't hire this guy. So we're going to find out who hired this guy. And no, it wasn't Governor Schneider. And the Michigan Department of Environmental whatever they call it, Department of Environmental Protection or whatever, whatever their, I don't know what their uh, state agency that covers water treatment is, but they didn't hire him. The state of Michigan did not hire this guy. This guy was hired by the Flint, the, the city of Flint, Michigan, where the water treatment problems happened. Okay, they were the ones responsible. Human Resources and the City Council hired this guy. Okay? Plain and simple. Howard Croft. What was his qualifications? Uh, let's see. He installed solar panels. Solar panels? Wait a minute. He didn't have a degree in chemistry? He didn't take any classes in water treatment 500 hours like I did? No. Yeah, he went to, he took some classes at a college. I don't know if he had a college degree or not. Um, his, um, his education on the LinkedIn is, um, shows that he went to a Michigan University and evidently he took classes on electricity, or I don't know what he took. It doesn't say what he took. But he took nothing dealing with chemistry. Okay? Absolutely nothing dealing with chemistry. So, nothing with water treatment, nothing with chemistry. What does solar panels has to do with water treatment? Absolutely nothing. You, you, and you, you drill holes in the people's ceilings or their roofs, and you run wires and, and hook things up. How does that make you qualified to do water treatment? It doesn't. Okay, so here is my uh, California State University, Sacramento, where I have 450 hours of water training. So I took water treatment one, I took advanced water treatment. I took w small water systems. And I took distribution class, a class in distribution, which is the pipes that, you know, run the, uh, under the ground that carry the water to your homes when you turn the faucet on. You got to coat those pipes with a phosphate, what they call a phosphate inhibitor or corrosion protection. And that would have been no problem at all. You know? I, no problem at all. If they would have sent this to, uh, water to the lab, they would have known this, but they didn't. All right, so here's your Flint City Council. Did you notice? Seven black people. Two whites. Even if the white people were racist and wanted to poison all the blacks, uh, seven out of Nine is a majority. They couldn't have done it. Take a look at these faces. Seven black Democrats made all the water decisions. They hired this Howard Croft guy, the utility director, who's black, who did solar panels. Who's responsible? They are. Just because the utility director and the city council was ignorant of water treatment, and they made incompetent decisions. What do they do? They blame it on the white governor? 
Did the white governor elect these people? No. Who elected these people? The people of Flint, Michigan. The people that are saying they're being poisoned by white racists. And then you got Michael Moore. And then he's making a big thing about it. It's, oh, it's the white governor's fault. How's it the white governor's fault? I count seven black Democrats that had to approve the, the hiring of this utility director and they made all the water decisions. How's it the white guy's fault? What, you know, what, what's up with that? You know, I, I, I just don't get it. Why can't they take responsibility and say, hey, we messed up bad, we're sorry. Hire, I, you know, if they would have asked me, I would have told them, yeah, you got to put something in the water to prevent the lead from leaching and, you know, do the water treatment. But they didn't ask me, so they hired a guy with, you know, solar panels. All right, this right here is a, in a, a certificate from the Environmental Protection Agency. Watershed Management. That is where you get your water from. They switched. Flint, Michigan changed their water source. And that was the thing of their problem. If they would have asked me that has training in this, I would have told them, you got to send this water to a, an environmental lab, a guy with a chemistry degree, not a guy with solar panels. And guess what? They would have said, oh, this is how you need to treat the water. The lab would have been happy to do it, and it wouldn't have cost much money, probably a few hundred dollars. You know, what can I tell you? But, you know, who listens to me? All right, um, this guy, oh, black commissioner. Ooh, what can I tell you, black commissioner? Uh, this is the guy that voted to hire, probably, I don't know how he voted. I don't know what his vote was, I just know he's a black Democrat. He was elected by the people of Flint. He had the power to fire or hire this Howard Croft, the ex-utility director, the water boss of Flint, whose qualifications was solar panels. But did they do it? No. I mean, you know... Why didn't they send the water off to a lab, a laboratory that deals with water treatment? That's what we do here in Florida. You know, this is what we do. All right. So um, now this certificate is from the Environmental Protection Agency. It has dealing with water treatment, actually, and, and, and both water treatment and sewage. It's the disposal of the bad things that you take out of the water. You see, you take water either out of a river or a lake or out of the ground, you treat it, you take all the bad stuff that you don't want out of the water, and then you got to dispose of it. Well, if they would have asked me, I could have told them, you got a problem with lead, you got a problem with this, you got a problem with that. I took you know, I took all this training, University of Florida, California State, two classes from the Environmental Protection Agency, okay? So, but they didn't ask me. Um, what can I tell you? All right, now, the uh, next picture you see here, guess what? Uh, Flint, Michigan, City Council. Black woman, Democrat. So uh, how is it, you know, she had the responsibility to investigate the qualifications of this guy that they hired that knew about solar panels. Why didn't she do this? You know, the voters elected her. I mean, I don't hate her because she's black, but why is the media blaming the white governor? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Do you get it? I don't. Uh, her name is Poplar. 
named after a tree. How wonderful. All right. Now, this next woman, Vicki Van Buren. She's black. She's a Democrat. Okay. She also had the responsibility. Hey, we need to get somebody in the water treatment department that knows what's going on so that our children are not poisoned with lead. Um, but they failed to do it. I mean, let's face it. I'm ignorant about a lot of things. I'm ignorant about nuclear physics. I'm uh, ignorant about brain surgery. But if they didn't know what was going on, why didn't they hire somebody that was a water treatment specialist instead of some guy that does solar panels? I mean, come on. They were responsible for the people they hire from HR. I mean, let's face it, people, you know? All right, and this guy is, um, uh, let's see, he is Mays. And um, he is another city council member from the first ward. They call, you know, it's a ward. Same thing. He had the responsibility to ensure that human resources, personnel, whatever you want to call it, hired somebody that knew what they were doing, not installing solar panels, an electrician, somebody that worked with electronics. Why didn't they hire somebody with chemistry? Why? Why didn't they do that? But it's the white guy's fault, right? I mean, look at it. Seven out of nine council members are black. Seven out of nine. That's a majority, people. All right, so this guy, he's the water foreman. He had over 20 years of experience in water treatment. And I'm sure if they would have asked him, he would have told them what they need to do because he holds a water license from the state of Michigan. He took education, probably comparable to what I did. But guess what? He died. He started. He died right around the time the, 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 uh, the government started doing their investigation. Uh, was he murdered? You know, I don't, I don't know. But he died. Drug overdose. Was he killed? I don't know. I don't have any idea. It just seems like such a coincidence. But, you know, dead men tell no tales, right? All right, so. Hey, Hillary, our lovely, lovely lady here. She blames the Flint water crisis on Republicans and racism. Well, take a look at the Flint City Council. Uh, they're all Democrats, and seven out of nine are black. Yeah, that sounds like racism, It's but it's the white governor's fault, right? Right. So let's see. Try again, Hillary. They're all Democrats. And seven out of nine are black. But it's the white governor's fault that had absolutely nothing to do with the starting of this, right? All right, well, what can I tell you? That is the thing about the Flint water crisis. So how can this be the white governor's fault? I mean, the white governor had nothing, nothing to do with this at least the start of it. Now, after all this happened and they took over, yeah, then he's responsible. But he didn't create this crisis, okay? You wanna see who created this crisis? Take a look at this picture. Take a look at the picture with Hillary and who's below it. That's the Flint City Council. You know, four, Four black men and three black women. So how is it racist? Uh, you know, I don't get it. Why are they blaming the white people for this? You know, 
we had nothing to do with it. Nobody asked me. So 